What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining us again on Wednesday. We're going to show you what's in the shop. We take you behind the scenes of maybe all three shops today, depending on where we get to. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Please help us out and do that. Comment on this video. Give us a like. Let us know what you think. We'll start here in the tent bay today in Latrobe. We've got Kevin and Terrell. It's not a, that's not his real name, by the way. His name's not really Kevin. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but they're tending a car. Kevin's become his nickname for some weird reason. And over here on this side of the world, we have a Ford truck. This truck got the whole front end protected, as well as the rocker panels, and I believe the wear and tear package. Yes, and now it's getting coated. We have a beautiful Audi behind John there. This is a SQ5, I believe, or Q5. And it's getting a ceramic coating. We also did some paint protection in some key areas. So I know we did the trunk ledge. Aaron, did we do anything else on that one? Okay, so just the trunk ledge. Those get beat up really, really bad. So it's a good idea to always get those protected. This Audi here is for an annual inspection. And we have a Rubicon Wrangler. This one's here for a full paint protection film wrap. So every inch of the blue paint that you see will be protected. Now this one also has the painted roof and the rear section around the rear glass. So there's a lot of film going down on this one. It also has some half doors um, that are painted and those are getting protected as well. On the lift, we have an Acura. This vehicle uh, was brought to us from a body shop. It must have been an, an accident at some point. It previously had some paint protection film installed. We actually did a video on that. Um, we removed the stuff that was still left because it was just a really, really bad installation. And we don't like to leave a bad installation with our installation. We don't want people to get confused if they ask who did that. So uh, we did the bumper, the partial hood, and the partial fenders on this car. And as always, there's a Corvette here. Thanks to our friend and partner, Horsepower Obsessed. He's our partner in the Miami store. He sends us lots and lots of Corvettes. This one's getting a full paint protection film wrap. Uh, I'm not sure if it's getting coated. Probably is. I know we're doing a protective film on the windshield as well. And right in front of us, we'll see a Chevy Silverado Z71. This car got the front end protected with Expel. It's gotten polished so far, and now uh, we're gonna be installing a custom graphic on the bedside and the rear section of the cab. It's gonna look really cool when it's done and then we're ceramic coating the car. We've got these two dirt bikes, they're still in the mix, I'm trying to find time to do those. When we finish the RC car bodies, so both of these have a full PPF wrap, believe it or not. Lots of hand cutting, these are <laughs> so time consuming, I think we could do a full front end of a full size car in the same amount of time it takes us to do one RC car, so. And in the wash bay we have a GMC Sierra, Denali, this one's getting an annual inspection, so it's still dirty. As you can see, we're just starting the cleaning process on this one. All right, we have a familiar Corvette outside. This is Justin's ZR1. So he's down in Miami helping take care of that store right now. And it's back for us to redo some paint protection film on the front splitter. Uh, something happened to it. It tore the, the edge of the film and it saved the carbon fiber underneath it. So. That's a pretty quick and easy job, but we have some time with it since Justin is down there for a while. And down at the bottom of the lot, we've got a Ram. This one got some paint protection film installed as well. It looks slow in the parking lot here today, but I assure you, it is not. We had a crazy week last week, and this week is equally as crazy. Got a boat. We tint boats sometimes. They're extremely challenging. This one we did last night. I uh, got it done, so it's ready to go home. Unfortunately, the covers are on it, so you can't see that beautiful tint job that the guys got done yesterday. And that's it for what's happening at the main Latrobe shop. We're gonna go down to our emergency services shop and show you what's happening there, and then hopefully Gibsonia. Are we hit Miami today, John? Yes. Miami too. All right, guys, we're over at the emergency vehicle services shop, and we have a vinyl wrap going on here. We're turning this BMW 5 Series from black to gloss burnt orange from 3M. You can see we're almost done with it. We've got the rocker panels and the bumper left. Jimmy and Steve are currently putting some stuff back together. My Porsche is being used as a shelf. <laughs> and we have a, another police car here. Uh, this one's got a half rear cage going on, gun rack. It's basically a full outfit. We're waiting on a couple of parts. We have, I think, four or five more full outfits coming in very, very soon. So uh, the next couple weeks, you're going to see lots of police cars here. So that's what's going on at this shop. Let's see what's happening in our North Pittsburgh location. What's up guys, it is Wednesday. So let's check out what's going on here at the Gibsonia shop. First up, we have this 2018 BMW 3 Series. 
This got a full paint correction and ceramic coating. And now Brandon's inside the vehicle tinting the windows. This is getting the XR Prime 20% tint on all the side windows and the back window. Next in line for a full paint correction and ceramic coating is this Porsche Boxster. This is a very unique vehicle. It's a manual soft top. So we'll be polishing out all the paint, coating all the paint, the wheels, and the soft top to ensure it's nice and easy to clean for the customer. Currently being coated is this BMW X6. Earlier in the week, this got the two front doors done in the XR Prime 20% to match the back windows, along with the full front clip and a wear and tear package in our paint protection film. So that includes the entire front bumper, the full hood, the two front fenders, the fender flares, and mirror caps. The wear and tear kit is going to include the door cups. So right in here, wherever your rings and nails will be scratching the door edges. So if the doors open up into a wall or another vehicle, that will not be scuffed up. And then inside the door jam, right along the bottom here, where your feet would hit, getting in or out of the vehicle. And Mark is currently correcting and coating the entire vehicle. Um, on all the paint, on top of the paint protection film, glass, wheels and all. Here we have another Porsche in the back. This is a 911 Turbo. Um, this is getting a track package, which is gonna include the full front clip, hood, fenders, mirrors, bumper, and the rocker panel kit. So these Porsches have uh, really wide hips in the back that things like rocks and whatnot are prone to hit and nick up. So we're gonna protect that from happening. Uh, we tinted the windows, all the side windows in the back window, and it's gonna be getting a Fusion Plus ceramic coating as well. In the back, we have the PPF crew doing two full wraps. Uh, the one Austin is currently on is this Tesla Model X. This is getting a stealth paint protection film. Now. So that will do two things, changes the appearance of the vehicle from gloss to satin and protects it from things like rock chips, rock salts, and any other damage that would nick up the paint. As you can see here on the back, we had the bottom portion done and the top portion is not yet done. You can see the difference between the fresh paint and the stealth paint protection film. It's also got the two front doors done in our XR Prime 20% to match the back windows. It's a much more even look now those windows are tinted. As for the second full wrap, this one on the TRX, this one is getting Ultimate Plus. As opposed to the Model X getting the stealth paint protection film, Ultimate Plus is a glossy finish paint protection film. We'll be doing that on all the painted surfaces and then topping it off with a Fusion Plus ceramic coating on all the paint protection film the plastic accent pieces and the wheels. This also got earlier in the week, the two front doors to match the back windows, just like the X did. That's all for what's going on here in Gibsonia. We'll see you guys back here next week. What is up, Pennsylvania? Thanks for throwing it over to us. As you can see behind us, we are pretty busy. Felipe is working away on the Ram TRX, which of course is getting a total Expel Stealth install, ceramic coating, window tint, and even an interior ceramic coating. And then over on the other side of me, you can see the Porsche Panorama Turbo S is of course getting a full front end of the Expel Ultimate, which is gonna protect all the front end from getting rock chips, scratches, and all that good stuff. And then over here, you can see behind me a Jeep 2016, just got a full front. The rest of it got polished out by Patrick and a full Expel Ceramic Fusion coating applied afterwards, which of course is the four year coating. We'll keep this 2016 Jeep looking really good for a long time. And then behind me here, we have the BMW X2 28i and it got 20% Prime XR on the windows here for you know protecting all of the interior. It is a brand new car, 23, literally just came off the dealer lot. We want to make sure that the Florida sun doesn't destroy the interior and that's where the XR tint comes into play. And then of course I can't let you guys go from Pennsylvania without stepping outside here and showing you the beautiful Florida sun and right behind me the beautiful Miami blue Porsche here in very close to Miami Florida. Now as you guys know this is Josh's Porsche and of course it has a full X R plus tint job as well as an Expel 10 mil ultimate film protection and some ceramic coating on it. That's all we have here at the Miami location, guys. I really appreciate you tuning in and checking out what we have in all three shops. And if you could be so kind, go ahead and smash that subscribe button at the bottom so you don't miss any future What's in the Shop Wednesdays. And you never know, maybe next week we'll have your car on.